You playing with my hair? I'm playing with his hair. <laughs> so put that um, on a spool and <laughs> sew it into something. A beautiful day in the neighborhood. A wonderful day for a neighbor. <laughs> Won't you be mine? <laughs> it's a neighborly day for a beauty hood. I don't know. <laughs> Welcome to Life Lessons in Film, where today you and I will be discussing oh, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The Mr. Rogers kind of semi-biopic. They make a story around an interview that he does with this one journalist, and they it's kind of a biopic. Kind of yeah. Thing. Yeah. But it was so sweet. Yeah. Wait, are we supposed to do the 22nd thing? Do you see? Yes. I told you. Yes. It's brutal. It's, it we is forget stuff. it. Maybe not. Maybe not? Maybe not? Eh, maybe not. We it's, tried it. Yeah. It, it, we're trying stuff. This yeah. is an evolving yeah. process, you know? Yeah. And then uh, you got you, you to gotta be open to whatever sticks. Yeah. And sometimes it sticks for a little bit, and then it starts to just peel. Paper off a paper little off. bit. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Wait. Mm. We didn't no. do that check. No. You're going to have to pause this That's one. Fine. I know it's not fine. I remember. Oh. Oh. <laughs> no way. Uh, the themes? The themes? Uh, we haven't said anything yet, darling. Okay. Well, you, you, you some stopped. Mm. Touch it. But you edit all of this out. Oh, yeah. Well. And uh, yeah, I thought it was really interesting that um, it was actually. It was, uh, yeah, I didn't grow up with Mr. Rogers, unfortunately. Yeah, but unfortunately. I, I, really, I really dig his philosophy. He's a very inspirational person, and um, and and he's someone that you know that that really embodies it too. Like he's not—you can see everyone that works with them is very protective of him because he's kind of because they know they recognize here's someone that really does mean all the things that he talks about or how he treats people. It's all genuine, yeah. you know. Even though the journalist at first Vogel was, uh, was like, who who possibly has the energy or or, or you know, it's 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 an act. You're an actor or something. It's a show you put on this character. Yeah, he said it's like. Uh, you know, the, the, the character you play, Mr. Rogers, and he's like, yeah. I don't really understand what you mean, because that's, that's who he is. Yeah. He's not acting. You yeah. Know? I remember the wife, his wife, she says to Lloyd Vogel, the journalist, at one point, when after Lloyd is like, something like, it must be hard living with a saint. Mm -hmm. And then the wife, she says, I don't like referring to him yeah. as a saint, because then it seems like whatever he is, yeah. this good thing that he is, is unachievable yeah. like then people just automatically give up which i loved mm -hmm. because initially i think lloyd vogel depicts um how people are in general i think we do tend to err more on the side of cynicism when we see people being good mm -hmm. because it's it's kind of rare right yeah. and it's not even to say that people in general are bad i think a lot of the times we have busy lives mm -hmm. and we aren't a lot of the times even able to take the time just to give to each other even to strangers so it's yeah. always like you got to get to work you got to do this you got to you got to yeah. this whatever yeah and you got to get to where you're going so we don't really have time to nurture yeah you know the goodness of humanity yeah. or actually act it out yeah um and so i think a lot of times we do tend to forget you mm -hmm. know also i don't know i think there's a lot of hurt in people and so you just you kind of forget that people are innately good, mm -hmm. you know? Because mm -hmm. sometimes you'll meet someone who's in a bad mood. You don't know what happened that morning. You don't know if they're going, what they're going through, but they're mean. And then you just automatically assume that, oh man, the world sucks, people suck, right? Yeah. Yeah. And um, that is a tendency I mm -hmm. find in general. Yeah, but yeah, and exactly. The world also doesn't allow people to have enough free time to properly take what would probably be needed to show every stranger you interact with or every person you know an appropriate amount of time just to remind them I do like you and yeah. I remember you I remember your life and you know I care and you know yeah. but that's what Mr. Rogers is able to do is he remembers uh Lloyd Vogel's wife's name that he has a kid he remembers his kid's name he remembers that he had issues with his father and that really kind of got him got to him uh, to his core because it's like why why would you even why would you take the time extra time like it why does it matter to you Mr. Rogers realized that uh it's important to however he structures his life. He's like, hey, I need to, well, he, he did say that his, his kids are grown now. That gives him more time. But, you know, to try and structure it in a way so that you have a little extra time. If things go wrong, it's not the end of the world. Or if things, if people need a little extra attention, you can give it, you know. The, the one thing, I think that the film was fantastic. The one thing I think is a weird kind of way of framing it is they kind of really make it seem like uh, when they fight, it was all his fault. Yeah. At the hospital for leaving. For me, I was concerned about the, the wife's behavior. At the wedding the first time, 
Lloyd when Lloyd has a fist fight with the with the dad, and she's like, you know, it's it's your fault. Like, why don't you want to take responsibility for this, right? And I'm like, first of all, you're married to this guy, so you should know what kind of person he is. I don't think you'd marry a monster. Yeah. And so for me, I feel like if your husband has a fist fight with your dad your go-to is give him the benefit of the doubt, mm. right? Number one, no one just randomly has mm. a fist fight with um, their dad. Yeah. If that is happening, there's a bigger problem yeah. and you should be more nurturing to your husband, even if they messed up. Like no one obviously, fist fighting is never gonna resol resolve anything. Yeah. But what that means is that there's so much pain in your husband's heart that he would do something that grave. Mm. And so as a wife, I think be supportive, be, caring and forget about this big you know this bad behavior because yeah. that you know the behavior alludes to something even bigger mm -hmm. right and i think that's where your go-to is to take care of your husband put your husband first and not the dad who you've never met ever in life yeah. and so the second thing was allowing the dad to to enter their yeah. their space i'm like you know the your home is where you go for respite right mm -hmm. like you this is your sanctuary. This is where you go to just like, yeah. oh, finally the world, yeah. no more work, no more people outside yeah. who stress me out. And you know that your husband had a fist fight with the dad. Yeah. There are issues there that yeah. you still aren't talking about. And yeah. yet you let this guy in yeah. to the house. Uh, and with the husband not knowing, with the husband being surprised. Not knowing? And he hadn't even met uh, his father's girlfriend of like 15 years. Yeah, like so was, like, many problems there. They hadn't there. met his son. Like yeah. the, the baby. So there was, it was a bad way to get them to reconcile. Yeah. Very. So poorly done yeah. on the part, the wife's part. I feel like, and I, I understand because a lot of people do this and I, I'm guilty for this in the past too. I think we all have this notion of family being fundamentally good, you know, and you have this, we all believe that if you have family, you are better off when you have better relations with the family than when you don't. And I think that is definitely true. However, I think that if you, if the, depending on the nature of the issues yeah. in the family, sometimes it's yeah. better, it's better the other way around. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes it's better to distance yourself from family. That's just the reality of things. Yeah. It still hurts yeah. and you have to figure out how to move on without your family because your family is your family no matter what and they stick with you. But sometimes it's better, you know, and I think like if you are a, a mature adult, you at this point, you should know yeah. and, and stop romanticizing the idea of family as, as this mm -hmm. ultimately good um, functioning community. Mm -hmm. If you do want your husband to reconcile with their with the thought of the, one of their parents, especially one who wasn't a good parent, I think that's fair, truly. But if you do, I don't know how effective it would be to force yeah. um, the parent who was basically abusive or neglectful yeah. on your your parent and it, it also just kind of how do you not see how detrimental that could be to mm -hmm. your relationship yeah because then how do i trust you yeah. to protect me and to yeah. to yeah. see that i'm this person damaged me basically yeah. if you want me to make amends like let's take it easy find out what happened yeah you yeah. know yeah don't take things at face value me just punching my dad there's more to it yeah and one other thing that was really, um, I didn't, I like the dad asking for forgiveness. Right. All of a sudden, if someone, oh God, they ask for forgiveness. Okay. Right. Clean yeah. slate. Yeah. We can now start over and yeah. we're all good. Yeah. That is not enough. Yeah. Saying sorry isn't enough. Yeah. Really, you actually have to take action, show the person, I acknowledge what I did. And it kind of i think portray the fact of the fact that you understand the things that you did and how they affected the other person like actually verbally mm -hmm. point these things out mm -hmm. to validate this person's experience right. because that's so important when someone who hurts you says i hurt you i did this and i can imagine or i know i saw that it did this to you and i'm taking full responsibility and i'm so sorry please let me know yeah. how else aside from saying sorry like what i can do i am ready to do that yeah. and to help you heal as much as possible and also help heal our relationship how else will i be able to trust you mm -hmm. if you aren't acknowledging you know the things that you did you know and giving me that kind of closure i think yeah. Yeah. it's not enough even if it's your dad it's mm -hmm. not enough for your dad to just say i'm sorry you have to actually mean it. You know what I mean? Totally. Uh, to cap it off, I, I like 
just Mr. Rogers' philosophy. I like that it can seem unreal to people that this person is real or it's not an act because they don't understand the mindset, the person, and the practice and the routines they have. Yeah. Mr. Rogers figured out a way to be at peace with, you know, it's uh, he's got a daily living philosophy where, you know, if, if you're not always worried about what other people are thinking or you're not always judging other people or being frustrated all the time, you can have a lot more peace of mind and you can take things as it comes. And then he even shares at one point when the uh, Lloyd Vogel is like, you know, what, what do you ever do? Like, do you ever have times when you, you just want to, you know, you really struggle and you're angry? You know, I have a hard time imagining that. And he's like, oh, sure. Like, you know, fine. But, you know, take it out in a more constructive way because we all have anger emotions. It's normal. It's good to have those. There's usually a sign that something's up you need to deal with. But he's like, yeah. find it, uh, you know, I get it out with, you know, hitting the the, the deepest uh, notes on the deepest, I think, you know, the lowest the notes lowest on, a, on a piano. On a piano. And just like, get it out that way. And he's like, use swim as fast as you can, which he also does in the movie. Yeah. You know, so he's he, he's self-aware enough about himself and and he's in touch enough with when certain emotions comes up. He says, OK, I want to deal with this. I want to be responsible for my emotions and then how to appropriately deal with them as they come up. Yeah. Which is, you know, a sign of a lot of uh, maturity. And even that thing where he talks about like the key playing the lowest keys on the piano. Um, I know that if I did that or maybe you did that, you try that, it wouldn't necessarily yeah. work because yeah, you that's gotta, not- You gotta find what works for you. Yeah, but like also it's not your go-to. You could yeah. be trying so many things. You're gonna go through a list of yeah. things. But I think the, the, the thing that's also important to note is like obviously ha habits are hard to break, right? Because let's say if you weren't someone who's, who actually was dealing with stuff in a healthy way and all you ever did was like get upset, you know, yeah. um, get angry at the person instead yeah. of letting your anger out elsewhere, that's your go-to and that's hard to break that habit. Yeah. And so it's going to take time for a keyboard to do this, to give you the same yeah. relief that, yeah. that you're, that, uh, that you're being ang um, frustrated yeah. and angry used to. Yeah. So I think a lot of the times I know you, for me too, it's so easy to give up in the beginning when you're trying to change these habits and to try and be better, mm. you know, a better person, yeah. smash those goals. Yeah. It's hard. That's how we, uh... Oh yeah. Also he talked about the parent, remember Lloyd Vog uh, Vogel was like, your parent, your, your kids might probably struggled a lot. Oh, you yeah. as your dad. Do you remember yeah. that? Yeah. And, Thoughts? uh, Reflection. Oh, that was, was good. I mean, you can see him kind of feeling like, oh, you know, you maybe brought up a bit of a sore spot, but he's again, secure enough with himself to take on these harder questions. And he's like, yeah, I, I imagine they did. You know, he probably had some questions about or yeah, conversations with his kids growing up and, and every kid's going to struggle to some degree, no matter who the parent is. Yeah. 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 <laughs> um. the, the one guy has to actually do this thing, this move where he gets the, him to stop shaking hands with people because otherwise he would just be shaking hands forever. <laughs> forever. With people. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the he kind of person lives in the moment and really tries to connect. His highest goal it seems is to connect with everyone as many people as he can. Yeah, yeah. But I, I, I just love how untouched he is by the adoration. You mm -hmm. know, he as much as he, people just completely love this guy no yeah. matter what. They don't question him. They mm -hmm. don't question his goodness. Yeah. Right. Um, well, except Lloyd Vogel, but the people that are like living somewhere in between yeah. are in general very much, oh, we love, this man is a saint, right? Yeah. Um, I love the fact that he doesn't allow himself to, to he doesn't, other people uh, put him on the pedestal, he doesn't put himself, mm -hmm. he doesn't put himself there, himself there, nor does he truly believe that he's that way. Yeah. And he's very honest about his um, shortcomings. And it's a good... Uh strong place to be mentally if you take praise and criticism the same with general praise general criticism you don't really bother too much with yeah it doesn't really affect what you're focused on yeah, yeah. even if you have issues as a person and yeah. you're making mistakes yeah. that doesn't that doesn't really uh, speak to your character mm -hmm. in its entirety yeah. and he's very well aware of that so mm -hmm. um and i like that they depict that because I think a lot of us sometimes when we do get criticized, we start thinking, oh my God, does that mean I'm a bad person? Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean that you're human, you make mistakes mm -hmm. and it's okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also love his relationship with the kids or his interactions mm -hmm. with the kids. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, Mr. Yeah. Rogers, Sees them the as conversations people. he talks about, we're just, we're just saying. Yeah. yeah. Sees them while he looks at them the way he looks at adults. Yeah. He doesn't see them any differently. Yeah. Takes them seriously, doesn't condescend, doesn't disregard them. Um, I do enjoy the fact that he does talk about these hard things because mm -hmm. kids, 
as much as their kids, they do go through these things and they're forced to have to deal with them. And if no one is saying anything, then they're isolated. Um, and to deal with this thing that they have no um, inclination whatsoever as to how to even begin to. Are you playing with my hair? I'm playing with his hair. <laughs> so, Put that um, on a spool and <laughs> sew it into something. Yeah, so it was so nice. I remember that when he had that kid. Do you remember that kid? I don't know if the kid was sick and was there with the parents mm -hmm. and he was just talking to him about like you are strong the kid was at first was very resistant oh, and yeah. then he's just kind of like yeah you know i know you're you, you're struggling right now physically you look weak but inside i know you're very strong mm -hmm. and the kid was like oh yeah falls apart and yeah. just you yeah. know after yeah. initially hitting him just goes yeah. in for a hug and yeah. i felt that i was like my god this yeah. poor kid and, he, and they're delaying the show by a lot because he's talking to the kid for so long and yeah. trying to get him to open up and they're like yeah it'll start when it starts when he's ready you know? yeah yeah it just seemed like he hadn't received that kind of interaction with someone someone who actually sees yeah. um the struggles that he was having because mm -hmm. i think a lot of the time you know he's obviously very sickly and he's weak and so externally doesn't is very uh brittle and might have been experiencing bullying or whatever because of that kind of stuff um so he in his mind just thinks okay i'm not strong i'm weak or whatever and so i think it was just kind of nice for mr rogers to acknowledge these things that um, kids a lot of the times or people in general think of internally but never actually vocalize um, well, a, lot, a lot of good can be done by just acknowledging people's experiences yeah, yeah. that it's that's huge. literally it just acknowledge yeah, a person's yeah, experience yeah, you don't yeah. have to be profound no, right no just be like i in hear you in how you listen do, do it yeah yeah show that you listened and you actually received it and that's it yeah so yeah. it was a great yeah. movie yeah a lot a lot of juicy stuff Mm -hmm. Yeah, there, there was some yummy substance. Yeah, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, that was, that was our thoughts. That's on, uh, yeah. Beautiful we, day in the neighborhood. And we would love your thoughts yeah. on our thoughts. <laughs> yes, down below. Let us down know. Down below. Yes. Until next time. Bye. Bye.